we immediately think of Greece whenever we see a place full of white paintings with a touch of blue. This color is popular in the country because of the Santorini or Mykonos alleys, and it is also the color of their flag. However, Greece is well known for its cultural heritage. The Minoan and Mycenaean civilizations left their mark here as well as the birthplace of the Olympic Games. Furthermore, Greece is well known for its stunning beaches, islands, and mountains, as well as Mediterranean climate. Greek mythology as well as ancient Greek gods and heroes such as Zeus and Hercules remain popular cultural figures in literature, film, and art. There is always a symbol that reminds us of a country, but it also has a lot to offer. Stay tuned to learn more about Greece and the amazing places it has to offer. Athens Athens is a remarkable city to visit for a variety of reasons. For starters, it is Greece's capital and the country's largest city. It is also one of the world's oldest cities with a history dating back over 3,400 years. The Acropolis, an ancient citadel high above the city, is one of Athens' most popular attractions. The Acropolis is home to some of the most famous ancient Greek structures, including the Athena Nike. Yes, the brand Nike derives its name from the goddess of victory. That pretty much sums up Nike's campaign. Athens is also known for its vibrant street life, museums, and art galleries, delicious food, and nightlife. All things considered, Athens is a city that presents a singular synthesis of ancient history, culture, and modern lifestyle, making it an enticing and thrilling destination for any traveler. Santorini One of the most stunning and well-liked tourist destinations in Greece is the island of Santorini, which is situated in the Aegean Sea. Santorini is home to several charming towns including Oaia and Fira. These towns are known for their whitewashed buildings with blue domes, winding streets, and traditional architecture. They are a great place to walk around, shop, and eat at the local cuisine. Santorini is famous for its black, bread, and white sand beaches, such as Parisa and Camari. Many beaches also provide water sports and other activities. Santorini is famous for its wines, particularly Vinsanto, a sweet wine made from sun-dried grapes that is produced on the island. Santorini has a peaceful, laid-back atmosphere that is great for unwinding and relaxing. Because it offers a special fusion of natural beauty, history, culture, and relaxation, Santorini is a unique destination for tourists. Crete is the largest of the Greek islands and it offers a unique combination of natural beauty, history, culture, and outdoor activities, making it an interesting and exciting place to visit. Sand beaches, rocky mountains, and valleys, and crystal clear Mediterranean sea waters make up Crete's diverse landscape, which is well known. The ancient Minoan civilization, which had a long history on the island of Crete, was one of Europe's earliest and most advanced civilizations, here, you can also find the Palace of Konos, which is regarded as the most important Minoan palace. The language, dance, and traditional music of Crete are all part of its distinctive culture. To fully experience local culture, visitors should attend one of the island's many festivals, such as the traditional Raki Festival. Raki, also known as Chikowedia, is a strong alcoholic drink made from fermented grapes or other fruits. The festival also features traditional Cretan practices like the Paniiri, a dance in which dancers perform intricate steps while holding a plate with a candle lit on top of it. The well-known Alaphonisi Beach, which is distinguished by its pink sand, is one of the many beaches in Crete. Crete is a great place to go hiking because it has many trails that provide breathtaking views of the island's natural beauty, Mykonos. Mykonos is famous for its beautiful beaches, including Paradise and Super Paradise. Both beaches provide crystal clear waters and a lively atmosphere, with numerous beach bars and clubs offering entertainment and lively music. It is regarded as one of Greece's most popular party islands, 
Paradise Beach is more family friendly, while Super Paradise Beach is more geared towards party goers. It is regarded as one of Greece's most popular party islands. Mykonos has many interesting places to visit, including the windmills, which are the island symbol, the Church of Paraportiani, which is one of the most photographed churches in Greece. Fresh seafood and traditional Greek dishes are just two examples of the mouth-watering local cuisine that Mykonos has to offer. Meteora, the geological formation of Meteora, located in central Greece, is notable for its soaring rock pillars and perched historic monasteries. The rock formations are among the most amazing natural wonders in Greece and provide breathtaking views of the surroundings. Meteora's monasteries are regarded as some of Greece's most important examples of Byzantine architecture. Monks built them on top of the rock pillars in the 14th and 15th centuries. These monasteries provide visitors with an insight into the history and religious practices of the monks who live there. Meteora has a number of hiking trails that allow visitors to get up close and personal with the rock formations and monasteries. Away from the bustle of city life, Meteora offers a strong real secluded atmosphere that is perfect for relaxing. Delphi is an ancient Greek site known for its historical and cultural significance as well as its natural beauty. The main attraction in Delphi is the Oracle of Delphi, a significant religious and cultural center in an ancient Greece. The Oracle was thought to be able to predict the future and guide the people of ancient Greece. The ruins of the Temple of Apollo, which housed the Oracle, can still be seen today. Another significant attraction is Delphi's ancient theater. It was constructed in the 14th century BC and could seat approximately 5,000 people. It was used to stage plays and other performances during the four-year-long Python Games in honor of the god Apollo. The ancient stadium of Delphi, which was used for athletic events and could seat around 6,500 people, is also located on the site. Visitors can enjoy sweeping views of the surrounding countryside and mountains from Delphi, which is located at the base of Mount Parnassus, Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki is Greece's second largest city, located in the country's north. Thessaloniki has a long history and cultural heritage that dates back more than 2,300 years. The city is home to a number of historical and cultural sites, including the White Tower, a symbol of the city, and a museum of the city's history. The Ark of Galerius, a Roman period monument, and Byzantine churches such as St. Demetrius and Hagia Sophia. Thessaloniki is well known for its delectable local cuisine and lively nightlife. Traditional Greek cuisine, including tzatziki and moussaka, is available for visitors to sample. There are also numerous late-night eateries and bars. Thessaloniki is located in northern Greece, making it an ideal starting point for exploring other parts of the country, such as the nearby towns of Veria and Kavala or the nearby Meteora monasteries, Olympia. The ancient Olympia Games are the most important attraction in Olympia. Every four years, in honor of the god Zeus, the games were held in Olympia, attracting athletes and spectators from all over the ancient Greek world. Ancient Greece's Olympic Games were among the most significant religious and cultural occasions, and the site of the games is regarded as one of Greece's most significant historical and cultural sites. The ancient Olympia Stadium was built in the 8th century BC and served as a venue for athletic events and other performances during the ancient Olympic Games. Olympia is situated in a lovely valley surrounded by lush greenery, providing visitors with scenic views of the surrounding countryside. Olympia is significant in the history of Western civilization because it is the birthplace of the Olympic Games. Samaria George the natural beauty of the Samaria Gorge is its main attraction. The Gorge is a 16 km long canyon that is one of Europe's longest. The steep cliffs, lush vegetation, and 
crystal clear waters of the stream that runs through the gorge provide breathtaking views. The park is a popular hiking destination, with several trails that allow visitors to get up close and personal with the gorge. The most popular trail, which takes about 68 hours to complete, is the hike from the Omalos Plateau to the seaside village of Agia Romeli. Samaria George is home to a variety of wildlife, including the endangered Cretan ibex, also known as the Cricri, a type of wild goat found only on the Greek islands of Crete. The park is a protected area that is vital to maintaining the island's fauna and flora. The hike through the George is exciting because tourists can navigate narrow paths, climb over rocks, and cross the stream, making for a challenging but providing experience. Naxos Naxos has a rich history and cultural heritage, with several ancient sites to visit, including the ancient city of Naxos, which was the island's capital in ancient times. The Temple of Apollo, which dates back to the 7th century BC, visit the charming villages on Naxos, such as Chalki, which is renowned for its handmade pottery, and Apiranthos, which is renowned for its Venetian-style architecture. Naxos is well known for its delectable local cuisine, such as Naxos cheese, a soft white cheese made from sheep's milk. Its wines, such as Naxos wine, are regarded as some of the best in Greece. Because of its history, Greece is one of the most fascinating countries to visit. You can unwind while learning about the past. Would you prioritize historical sites when visiting Greece or unwind on their beautiful beach? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.